Hey guys, welcome back to our FCS Dynasty and NCAA Football 2006. Today we've got the Jacksonville Dolphins hosting the Arkansas Pine Bluff Golden Lions. And the Golden Lions are 2-4. The Dolphins are 2-3 and three on the season, having a two-game winning streak currently. And the Golden Lions are without their top receiver. And Chris Slaughter, 13 touchdowns passing on the season. He's doing quite well for himself on the year. Only five picks. He also... Oh, the backup quarterback, excuse me, also has two touchdowns. But of course, Cook, he has, I think, 12 of the touchdowns, so they are going to be without their entire receiving core for the most part. So it should be a good game for the Dolphins, and I've got them winning this one 42-13. to The Dolphins are without Michael Hines and Jukes McGee, but they do have a stable of receivers who are going to be playing some halfback, and here's the Sean Harris on a toss play. And he's going to take it all the way for his first career rushing touchdown. And a little bit of disrespect as he just comes to a complete stop on the one-yard line. Last week, the Dolphins beat up the Texas Southern Tigers 52-24. And that game was not even close from the start. The Dolphins had over 200 passing yards and 200 rushing yards. Let's see if they can continue that success today. Arkansas Pine Bluff with a nice first down there. Going up the middle is Coker. And a nice stiff arm on Zane Williams. That gets him about nine yards. Second and one. And they'll toss it out to Coker. He's got the edge. And he's got the first down for Arkansas Pine Bluff as they look to get on the scoreboard. Try to tie this ball game up. But Zane Williams comes through unblocked on the blitz. And that is his third tackle of the game. Slaughter hit as he throws. That pass is incomplete. That'll bring up fourth down. And a funny play here. I've never seen a team punt from the opposing team's 31 yard line before. Just insane. And after a couple three and outs, Arkansas Pine Bluff punting it away again. Mr. Highlight from his own 24 yard line, gonna go right up the left sideline, unblocked, all the way, high stepping from the 25 yard line. Touchdown, Dolphins. And they extend their lead to 14. See if the Golden Lions can get something going. The answer is no. Zane Williams has the interception. That was thrown directly to him. And that is Zane Williams' third interception on the season. He also has 26 tackles, six for a loss, four sacks, two pass deflections, and one INT for a touchdown. And Tyler Matthews gets a short yardage conversion. It's now third and 13, though. Golden rolling out left side. He's got highlight open for the first down on third and 13. Great pickup. And first and goal from the one, Tyler Matthews. He punches it in for the touchdown. That's his fourth on the season. And the Dolphins starting to pour it on now. It's 21-0 here in Jacksonville, Florida, as Coker picks up 10 on second and 12. So that'll make it third and two. Tight end around, the most unstoppable play in college football games. And it picks him up a first down. Slaughter, left side, Jackson, another first down. Arkansas Pine Bluff putting together a great drive. Trying to get back into this game. Third down, though. Slaughter, left side. Bad throw. Allen Davidson almost has his third career interception. Jacksonville goes three and out on their next drive. Here's Slaughter taking a shot right side. Picked off. Marcus Pedersen, the safety, has it. And he is going to take it all the way for his first career pick six. And Pedersen only had one other interception this season coming into this game. And that was an impressive one as he jumped that route. Not a very good throw. And great blocking downfield by the defense. Fine Bluff trying to get back into it here. And Marcus Pedersen with a monstrous hit on Travis Cole. And he actually injures him on the play. And it's always tough trying to come across the middle when there's two subscriber safeties back there. That makes it third and ten. Slaughter pressured. He's hit and deflected away by Deshaun Harris. The wide receiver out there playing some corner. Still looking for his first career interception. And here he is getting a carry. And he'll get it up to the 47-yard line and picks up a first down. Haven't really seen Mr. Highlight at all today in the ground game. Here's Christian Hart stiff-arming the entire defense. And he's going to coast all the way for his fourth touchdown on the season. That was impressive. My goodness. What a vicious stiff arm. I'm pretty sure two of those defenders fell down. And Christian Hart just coasts for the score. Look at that, that's just nasty. Knocks over two defensive backs. Dolphins pouring it on here in Jacksonville, 35-0. Slaughter 
Throwing over to the right side. Pedersen has his second pick of the game, third on the season. And he's going to take this all the way past midfield. There's a flag, but it's on Arkansas Pine Bluff. So the interception counts. That is the third on the season for Pedersen, second of the game. And that's the half, 35-0. Jacksonville rolling right now. This is so easy. And here's Coker, nice juke. And he'll get the first down on his first carry of the second half. And they'll give it right back to him. And Pedersen with a nice tackle. He'll pick up eight yards. But that'll be an automatic first down after that. And they're going to go play action. And Fafita, the backup quarterback, is now in. He is sacked by Zane Williams, who came around the edge unblocked. And this is probably the worst pass I think I've ever seen. That pass is directly to Allen Davidson. And that is his third interception this season. I'm not sure what the receiver was doing or if that pass was just very badly overthrown. The Dolphins back on offense. Play action. Golden rolling left. And he wants Tyler Matthews, the fullback, and he's got him. And he accelerates for the score. His first career receiving touchdown. Just blows right past the entire secondary. 42 to 0. Dolphins pouring it on. And this pass is intercepted again. Zane Williams going left side inside the 10. Five touchdown Dolphins. That is his second pick six on the season. And his second pick of this game. The secondary. Well, actually, the whole back seven is looking nasty today. Third and four. Coker's dropped at the line of scrimmage, so the Dolphins get the ball back. Here is Elliott, the backup halfback, getting the carry. And he'll get 12 yards on a first down. Trying to get some of the lesser known players some carries. Today here's Deshaun Harris getting another first down on the ground. And highlight, nice spin move, gets to the edge. Past the 40 and a great open field tackle at the 37 yard line. I thought he was gonna take it the distance. It's Tyler Matthews hurdles over a down defender. Carries one all the way for a nine yard pickup. Now first down, here's Elliott again, the backup halfback. He'll get seven or eight yards up the gut. And the Dolphins will settle for a field goal. So they're not trying to, you know, completely pour it on. 52-0 is the score. Less than five minutes remains in this game. And that's a nice completion by Fafita to Jackson. Up to the 44-yard line. And Coker runs over Marcus Pedersen. Malik Bean saves possibly a touchdown. Coker with 82 yards today. Which is actually quite good. Left side, Bryant goes right past Allen Davidson. And a missed tackle by Deshaun Harris. And probably one of the best plays of the game for Arkansas Pine Bluff. And they will punch it in with their fullback a couple plays later. So, no shutout today for the Dolphins. But this is definitely their most complete game they've played all season. This is their third victory in a row after starting out the season 0-3. Of course, they do have a couple suspensions. So, they're not at full strength. And they still won this game by 45 points. So I am supremely impressed by their performance today. Although I do want to see this offense, the way they've been performing lately, I want to see them do this against uh, Florida Atlantic in a couple weeks as that is the last um, FBS school that Jacksonville has on their schedule. So that will definitely be an interesting matchup and I'm looking forward to that one. But today, 52-7. Golden Lions don't score until the fourth quarter when the game was obviously well in hand at that point. Ryan Golden, 5 of 9, 151 yards, two touchdowns, a long of 69. Deshaun Harris, 96 yards on the ground. Mr. Highlight only gets 20 today. Harris and Matthews both with touchdowns. Only one 20-plus yard run today. The offense wasn't really spectacular today, but they did enough to put up a bunch of points. The defense was definitely helping out with all the takeaways. And I think the Jacksonville Dolphins might need a, uh, a turnover chain over here with a Dolphin on it. Oh yeah. Zane Williams, Marcus Pedersen, seven tackles apiece. Bunch of picks today, bunch of tackles for a loss. The ground game actually worked quite well for Arkansas Pine Bluff today. Coker was close to 100 yards rushing. Zane Williams had a sack today. We picked them off five times. They went to their backup quarterback there late in the third quarter, which I think was a mistake. Um, I think they should definitely should have kept their starter in there. A couple defensive touchdowns today. There was also a Mr. Highlight 
return for a touchdown off of a punt. Nice 73 yarder. And that is it. There's the players of the games. 87 yards for Coker for Pine Bluff. So he had a really good game for himself. Although they did finish off a drive with a touchdown with the fullback instead of him. But the next Jacksonville Dolphin game will be week 9. They will be hosting the Elkhorn State Braves, home of Steve McNair. That will be a fun one. Our next game, which will be out tomorrow, is number 13 ranked Navy Midshipmen traveling to take on these 2-3 and three San Diego Toreros. I'll see you guys with that one tomorrow. Take it easy, guys.